So we initially talked to her because she was wondering if it was shady or not because it just didn't seem right. Like he knew where she was all the time and she kind of figured out maybe how he was like tracking her. Yeah, so she always wanted a guy that was caring and protective, and so she was thinking that maybe this could be a good thing, but then she went to her friends, and her friends thought this was a shady thing, being that they've only been dating for about a month. And he got a hold of her phone, and then when she got her phone back, it said stop sharing location on his contact, in which then she realized that she never shared her location with this guy in the first place, so it must have been him who had done it when he had her phone. So when she approached him about it, he pretended to be confused as if he didn't know what she was talking about. But then he said, you know, I think you should leave the settings alone and just go ahead and let it be shared so that, you know, I kind of always know where you are. Mm -hmm. And she felt like that was a bit too much and she did not want to do that. And so to do that after a month felt like a bit much. I don't know why. I mean, I have a fiance. We're getting married next year. Um, I don't know why. Because I'm not doing it. I don't have time to do anything shady anymore. And I just don't have the energy. (laughs) (laughs) My shady days are so past me. Um, I still think like her knowing where I am at all times based on that location somehow is off-putting for me. I think, Cassie, you'd probably fall into the same category. I, full disclosure, I was reading something and not listening to the show, so I have zero idea what you're talking about. I am sorry. It wasn't interesting anyway. You're you're missing nothing. (laughs) I was reading an email. I apologize. No, um, I, Bart and I share our locations with each other, and it's not off-putting at all to me. Yeah, I wouldn't like it. I I still feel like I want to have some sense of privacy. Right. Even in a relationship. Even though it wouldn't, I mean, she'd be bored to death, right? But even now, like... She's very different than I am when it comes to, like, knowing where we are all the time. Like, mm-hmm. look, I would um, go throughout my de- my entire day, and then uh, in past relationships, I would just catch people up at the end of the day. She, like, is like, all right, hey, if you're heading to the gym, will you just check in and tell me you're going to the gym? And if she is dropping Eliza off, she will text me un solicited and just say, just want to let you know, I'm leaving and I'm dropping Eliza off, which I think is the healthier way to go. Both. Yeah. We do both. I mean, like you, we have, we have a shared calendar, so we know what's going on with our schedules. And I mean, especially when you get a kid involved, you just, you have to do that because there's so much crap. Um, but as far as like sharing location, um, and I know our operations manager, Tracy, she and her husband share their locations and with me going to Chicago this weekend. Yeah. I, I, I just, it's more of a safety thing mm-hmm. than anything. And yeah. I, I, it, there's... I have zero problem with it whatsoever. But see, even if you are going to do it, like there should be some kind of conversation yes. about it as opposed to how this guy just, just, just went and snuck right. and did it. Exactly. Didn't and even mention it. After And after a month is different. I mean, For I'm talking sure. about mm-hmm. like my husband and I share our locations with each other. And then also the fact that he's like, oh, huh, I don't know how that happened, but you know, you should leave it all. <laughs> yeah. just okay. And I wonder if this is a gender difference also before we get back into this email, because dudes don't go out feeling like we're really like not secure. Uh, we feel secure when we, it's just a different situation for a guy walking around than it is for a woman traveling to Chicago. Oh yeah, 100%. For sure. Like that, I, I don't plan on being by myself right. um, at night in Chicago. Right. Like I'll be with somebody, I'll be with you guys or with some other radio friends. You think you're going to be safe with us or radio friends? I'm I glad mean, Bart knows where you are. All the time. <laughs> Hence why I shared my location. Because if you're going down, we're probably all going down together. So they'll track us all through you. All right. So um, she wasn't really sure if this dude was tracking her or not. And now she's got answers, Kristen. Hi, guys. Well, I am not dating him anymore. I had to break it off. It seems that sharing my location with himself was not an accident. After I had stopped sharing it, I noticed him trying to use my phone for various reasons. I decided to let him, uh, I decided to let him to see what he would do. Sure enough, I got my phone back and my location had been shared with him Mm, again. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It turned into an argument because he insisted that there was nothing wrong with him wanting to know where I am and that I am safe. He told me that it would be a deal breaker for him because it seems like I am hiding something. (laughs) Well, consider deal broken. Yeah. The manipulation. The manipulation. Right. Oh, best. So he goes back into the phone, changes it himself, Again, right? And yes. he's saying that, hey, you should be okay with this rather than 
them having a discussion about it. Get out of here. He he said he can't understand why it seems shady and creepy that he is insisting on knowing where I am at all times. So after the argument it caused, I broke up with him. Shockingly, <laughs> sarcasm, he did not take that lightly and seemed to get crazy angry. It was not normal to be this angry and upset over someone you just started dating. After two days of him constantly texting, I had to block his number. Then he started commenting and saying nasty things things on a bunch of my old Instagram posts. Yeah. I finally had to block him and make my accounts private. Thankfully, things seem to have calmed down a bit today. Hopefully, he realized how crazy he seemed and goes away. I think I dodged a bullet by ending things oh with him. God, yeah. Yes, Certainly. you did. However, and this is so freaking sad, because of the way he's acting, mm -hmm. you should share your location with somebody that you trust. Yeah, right? Mm. I mean, she definitely uh, dodged a real problem here because, I mean, this is like how many times have we talked to women on the birch show where this starts the abusive behavior right here? It's the controlling. Mm -hmm. It's the manipulating. And before you know it, you're in a really abusive relation. I am so glad she got out of this thing. I know. That's super dangerous. Yeah, it's a blessing that she found out what she did when she did because guys like him typically can hide this for a little while. 100%. The Burt Show. Like what you just watched? Well, you can get way more of The Burt Show on Apple, Spotify. Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your favorite podcast.